Hello, 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 all my beautiful viewers. Welcome to another episode of restoring a Corvette after 20 years of sitting in which nothing works. In today's episode, we are taking the light harness and the engine harness, we're bringing them in the house, putting them on the table, and I will show you step by step by step on how to repair these and reuse them basically for free. These are great, good harnesses with good solid wires made in the 60s and 70s when things used to be built well. There's nothing wrong with these. I'll show you how to change connectors, what to clean, what to look for. I invite you to the next episode. Let's get started right now. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is get areas like this. See all that? You want to take some Varsol. This is great stuff for cleaning things. It's not too corrosive, it's just right. You pour some into a container. You grab yourself a paintbrush and you start cleaning this thing. Get all that oily whatever stuff off. So that way you can see what's going on. We're not going too crazy here, but you want to get all the gunk off so you can see all your little wires especially at the connectors here to make sure there's uh, no cracks or nothing so you can reuse this. So all these type of connectors, you're gonna do the same thing, just get all that grease off. All right, we got all the connectors nice and clean as you can see. Um, nothing too, too crazy. We didn't go all nuts with it, but see we can see all the wires now in that. All right, we're gonna take these harnesses, bring them in the house, put them on our table, and start the repair. All right, so we got ourselves a nice little workstation going. Um, we're gonna start with the engine harness. The first thing we're gonna start with is the plug itself. See, if you look inside, there's a little bit of rust and a little bit of corrosion on some of these. See, I already cleaned this one. That's what you want it to look like. All these little metal shavings here, those will come out after. You're gonna wanna get yourself one of these, a Dremel. It just spins on the end. So they come with lots and lots of different ends. We are basically only going to use these ones. And this one here is probably the most precious one for getting inside of these rusted connectors and cleaning them on the inside. So for the main plug, we're gonna use this flat one. So that's it. That's all we're doing to all of these, making them nice and clean and shiny like that. Okay, we got these connectors basically perfect. See, they're nice and clean, no corrosion on them. So now we take some compressed air and clean all the shavings out. So there you have it. I'm gonna say it's perfect. Okay. So now we just follow these wires You check every single one to see if there's any cracks or any breaks, which there isn't. So this is all good. And then we're gonna move on to this wire and check it, check it. Everything looks good, it feels right. And then we get to the end here. So what you're looking for is to make sure there's no play in here. This wire here to this connector, um, this has to be attached perfect. There can't be any movement, which there isn't. See, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this connector, except for the fact that it's corroded. So we're gonna clean it with our little tool now. Okay, and there you go. As you can see, this connector is 100% now, nice and clean, ready to be installed. All right, so now that's good, that's good. Let's move on. So what we're gonna do is, see this electrical tape? This electrical tape goes on to about here. So what we're gonna do is, this section where the electrical tape is, we're gonna take all the electrical tape off and inspect all the wires. Okay, and the reason you wanna do one little section at a time is because you don't wanna pull everything apart and then you're not gonna know 
how it went, like where, what, what wires were taped together. So one section at a time. So now basically you take every single wire and you just feel it, see if there's any cracks in it, any uh, part of the electrical uh, conductor is missing off of it. So you go over every single one like that, you inspect them super, super good. Um, so I've already done that and up to this point, every single one of these wires has absolutely no issues. So now we're gonna put the electrical tape back on. So you take your bunch of wires and you just start rolling. All right, and that's that. We got another huge section of the harness inspected, um, repaired, nice and looking fresh. Let's move on to the rest of it. And look, there's not even much left. So this is going pretty fast. Okay, that's all good, that's all good up to this point. Now we got a wire coming off of this harness that goes to the distributor. So I've noticed, look at this. This is what you're looking for in these wires. Take a look at this. See, there is exposed wire there. This wire isn't broken, but it is exposed. Okay, so what happened is this was rubbing on like the side of the engine to the point where it rubbed the coating off the wire. It didn't break the wire, but it broke the coating. So then there's a positive flowing through this wire. So what ends up happening is the second that this wire touches like the engine and it shorts out, that will blow one of your fuses in your fuse box, or it'll even fry something like your ignition switch or, or whatever it, you know, it goes to. So um, there you go. Like this is definitely one of the reasons why the car wasn't running or starting or doing anything because guaranteed this wire shorted out and now you know, your ignition your ignition's not getting power now because it blew a fuse in the vehicle. So this is the kind of stuff you're looking for. So I'll show you how to repair that. Like this, this harness is good. It's all the wires are, are solid. Nothing's corroded really. Um, I'll show you how to fix this. So you got to get yourself some heat shrink wire wrap. Very good product. Uh, this will fix that spot. So this wire goes to this connector, which also goes to the yellow wire, which goes to your starter. Um, so if you look at this closely, see, this is all, like these wires are like coming out of here. Uh, there's definitely some going on there. So we're actually gonna change this connector to a new one, uh, cut these and reinstall them. I'll show you how to do that. And while we have that out, we'll be able to take this and slide it onto the wire. So I have inspected this wire up super, super close and there's not one strand broken in it. So we don't have to do anything with that. Otherwise you would have to cut it and then sol solder it back together and then put that on. But in our case, we're okay just to slide this on. See, just like that, you put it over, you grab yourself a heat gun, not a hair dryer, a heat gun. All this stuff is cheap. Like these are like $50 or something. This is like $50 max. Uh, way cheaper than buying a new harness and then you can you know have these forever So anyways, you grab yourself a heat gun and you heat this up and it will shrink and protect the wire And there you go another section pretty much fixed. All right, so what I like to do now is you grab this wire protector, also a great product. Um, and since this rubbed through, right? So chances are whatever it rubbed through on, it's probably gonna rub again in that same spot. Um, there's obviously something in that spot that made it do that. So we're gonna put this protector on as well to give it extra protection. See, this opens up so you can actually put it on without having to cut the wire but in our case the end's missing so we'll just slide it on just like that over top of this wire and boom look at that nice and protected and ready to be reused okay now we're gonna put this connector on the end here I'll show you how to do that properly because a lot of guys get this wrong 
see like that's where the wire is gonna go into right there like that it's a little long but that's okay I'll show you why all right so you twist these together nice and tight you twist that all up see there's like a stopper at the end there you put that in all the way till it reaches the stopper you might even have to turn it a little bit a few times just like that and then you take your handy dandy tool here and see there's a nice section right there where you give that a squeeze all right that's in there awesome no movement nothing it's working perfect all right so what i like to do now is put a little bit of electrical tape on there so this doesn't slide around and then same at this end and then also what i like to do is i like to put electrical tape um, from here a little bit down so then these two wires they don't like pull apart kind of thing so i'll do that right now and i'll show you what it looks like and then we'll move on all right so we got that section 100 percent that 100 percent that 100 percent and then it goes into this see i taped it up there so it doesn't move around that's all protected now that looks nice so it doesn't you know there's no chance of that moving out so that's done so we got this 100 percent up to there all checked uh now we're going to take off this cover here check all the wires and if everything's good we'll do exactly here what we did here we'll uh tape the ends up and should be good all right so i checked all these wires everything looks good looks good but I did find one wire that somebody cut. So we'll have to investigate that. And I also found uh, for where the goes to the wipers, I believe. So somebody did that to it. So we're gonna cut that open and investigate it. And this wire here, I'm not too worried about it because it's just one wire. So I'm sure we'll figure out what it's for. And you know, somebody eliminated the air conditioning in that car, so maybe it's something to do with that. It's all a maybe, I have no idea, but anyways, I will remember about this wire. When I put the harness back in and I get every single thing working, and then around that area, if one thing's, you know, missing a wire or something, I will remember. So I'll, I'll leave this out and I'll put tape around it so it doesn't uh, short out. Anyways, let's take a look inside this part. Okay, so I took that electrical tape off and uh, this thing looks actually perfect there's no issues with it it's all soldered together really well and uh, nothing's moving around so i'm just gonna put tape back on there and then we're just gonna move on to these plugs here uh we're gonna clean them up a, lot, a tiny little bit with um, this pointy one here so we can get in there we're not gonna go too crazy because they're not super bad all right got these all nice and clean and perfectly not corroded now so now we're gonna move on to this next plug here. See this? So this is a good example of one that's got lots and lots of corrosion inside of it. Check it out. So we'll clean that one and then I'll show you the difference. See that? Okay, there it is all cleaned. See how nice and clean that is? That'll have a really, really good connection. All right, so all this is good now. All of that is everything's been checked. These are all nice and clean inside. Everything's good to go. We're gonna tape up this wire now, just in case uh, there's power in it later on. And we might not even need it. I guess we'll find out later. Uh, we're gonna move on to these connectors now. So looking at these, I'm gonna say everything looks good here. None of the wires are pulled out. Everything seems good. Um, here, there's a little bit of the insulation coming off the wire, but the wire is in there good. So I'm just gonna put electrical tape on this just so that doesn't move around that much, so nothing can happen there. Okay, so we reinforce this. That's good to go. This all looks good. We took off this plastic cover now, and we're following and looking at these wires, and the only thing I found with them is this part's got electrical tape on it, so we're gonna pull that electrical tape off, make sure this is soldered together good. If so, we're gonna put new electrical tape on, and then going on here, I also found one other problem with it. So right here, take a look. See, this is right next to the starter and this actually has exposed wire on it. See that? 
very similar to the white wire. So this would touch the body of the car and it would arc out. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna clean this up, make sure the wire is not damaged inside. All right, so I took the electrical tape off and I'm very happy with the way these look. There's no issues there. So I'm just gonna put electrical tape back on there. And uh, for this part, we're gonna put some electrical tape on it really good. And then we're gonna add this on top of it for extra protection because wherever it was rubbing before, it's probably gonna rub again in that same spot. All right, so start to finish, we have checked and repaired this harness, all the little connectors, all the ends, everything is looking great. Now I'm gonna show you quickly how to test it, make sure that every wire is doing what it's supposed to be doing. So you gotta get or build yourself a test light. Okay, so what you do is you look inside these prongs here, so like this one, for example. So you look at the back and you can see what goes into which uh, prong, right? So the white wire, which is like this dirty looking one here. So that one goes down the harness, down the harness, right? And then it comes out over here, the white wire, and it connects to the yellow wire, right? So then what you would do is you follow that and there's the yellow wire. So now what you do is you touch your yellow wire to there like so. Inside of here now, you touch it to that prong and boom, there you go. So that wire is 100% good. So basically what you gotta do is you gotta test every single prong now, uh, one by one, and then figure out what wire goes to and then do exactly that to every single wire. If uh, the light lights up every time, then your harness is 100%. So I'm gonna do that right now, but I already know it's gonna be good, but I'll test it. And then I'm gonna move on to the second harness. All right, so we got the engine harness 100% now. As you can see, all the connectors are nice and clean. Um, this is protected now. Everything is 100% good to go. Now we're gonna move on to the light harness, which is right there. This one does have a few issues. So basically what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna start here, start doing the exact same thing, and I'll get um, a little bit down towards the end of the harness, and I'm not gonna make it as boring as the first harness video, so anything that you guys have already seen me do, I'm not gonna show you again. I'm gonna basically, uh, as soon as I come across some problems, I'll show you those and I'll try to skip some things. So this next part of the video shouldn't be more than a few minutes. Also, I did some research and this orange wire is to do with the air conditioning. My goal is to have this car running literally in a few days, I'm hoping, and then have every little problem fixed on it. All the little blend doors and the heaters, all the vacuum systems. I mean, everything. I'm gonna make videos about every little section. So I highly recommend um, you guys watch all my episodes from the first one into the future uh, so you can see the whole process of like what to do when you get a car that's been sitting for that long. Um, this car does have air conditioning, but uh, somebody removed the air conditioning, turning this thing to a hot rod. And actually I plan on fixing everything on this car except for the air conditioning. I'm not gonna worry about it because I, we live in a cold place here. You barely need it. All right, let's move on. So we taped up the optical cables nice and fresh so they're not all over the place. Now we're gonna focus from here uh, all the way to this spot. And as you can see, um, those have some corrosion on them. See, that's a good view of it. Um, same with that. Otherwise, everything looks pretty okay. I am gonna tape these up so they don't bend. And um, right here, see, look at those. So. I'll quickly get that all done. Like, look at that one. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like when I get that section done. All right, as you can see, the harness is looking pretty good. Still gonna have to clean all those little metal shavings out, but that looks pretty good. Um, no cracks, checked over this whole wire. Everything's looking great. Up to this point, basically, 
uh, we're good. Check out these connectors. They're looking nice and fresh now. Um, all of these inside, look how nice those look. Um, very, still gotta blow these out, but I mean, they're nice and clean. There's no corrosion in there, nothing. See, look at that. And there's another one. So that's how you do that. And then just so everybody knows, see this product here, dielectric grease. This has to go on to every single one of these connectors. You basically fill them with that. And then they'll never corrode. They'll never arc or anything. This is great, great stuff. Basically, you can't install one of these harnesses without this. Same with this plug's going to get it and everywhere. That will all be in the reassembly video. So make sure you watch the reassembly video because it's going to be good. All right, let's continue with this harness. All right, so now from this point till about here, we're gonna take uh, the tape off here and we're gonna investigate all these type of plugs. See, this one's dirty. You know how to clean it now. And all the wires and everything, and then we'll put everything back the same way it was. And then realistically, we don't even have that much left. So this isn't gonna take that long. Yeah, so just sitting here working on this section. So I already fixed this one um, and this one. So some of them have, like connectors like this. So I'm just checking these, make sure there's no play, no corrosion. Everything's looking pretty much good. So then I'm just taping these up and then putting these on. And I think this is all gonna be good. I still gotta take the tape off of here and check that, but everything's looking good. And then I just gotta clean these plugs, obviously. So just wanted to give an update as I'm going through this. All right, we got this whole section checked over, done, fixed up, all ready to be back installed. We got all these connectors nice and clean. Everything's good here. Cleaned up the ground. Look at that, nice and shiny. Everything will work good. This connector is looking pretty good. Um, this one too. Everything's good now. So we're gonna carry forward to the front of the car. Okay, so moving on now. This was a ground wire which ripped right out. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take a grinder and grind this nice and clean and get that bolt out. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna put a new connector on it. And then this plug seems good. I don't see anything wrong with it. Might give it a little clean in there. And this light here, inside of it, it looks pretty rusty as you can see. We're gonna try to clean that and fix it. If not, we'll have to get a new end piece for it. Okay, and just like that, as you can see, look how nice our ground's looking now. This is all good, so that's good. Uh, we clean this a little bit inside. It's looking very nice in there. And this marker light, see it's perfect. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that now. So you see, just like that, um, we're fixing this. So far, we haven't really spent any money on anything, really. So it's going really, really well. Like, it's all about getting this car on the road without spending too much money on all these different random brand new parts, right? Trust me, this thing will run mint. I've restored lots of cars. All right, so this is all good now up to here. So now from here, we don't have much left. We got like one headlight and another headlight, couple horns in the middle, and that is it. And this harness will be done. All right, so I just finished this harness. So uh, I cleaned all the light connectors really good. Uh, the horn connectors, all of that. What I wanna show you now is how these optical light up lights work. So this part is inside of your front blinker. So watch what happens here, I got a light here. Watch what happens when I put this on the light, like this. So on the light, off the light, on the light. So see this panel here, watch. 
on the light, off the light. See the light actually travels through this tube, this fiber optics tube, see? On the light, off, on, off. So now the headlights, see inside of there, so the middle wire inside of it, see right there, has the exact same kind of thing on it. Um, so at the back of your light, there's one spot on the beam that actually lights up. So light will travel through that the exact same way. See, watch, I'll put that on there. And see, look at that. Take it off, put it on. So that lets you know that your lights are on, see? So the only problem I'm having here is, see there's one for the high beams as well. So I'm guessing one of these type of plugs broke a long time ago and somebody just put these type of connectors on. So now uh, this is broken off for the high beam. So it looks like we'll have the fiber optics working no problem except for the high beam indicator won't work. That's all, that's not a big deal. And the only other problem we're having is see this plug is broken. This is for the uh, light inside that lets you know if your headlights aren't all the way up. So this wire is broken on it, which is not a problem. We are just gonna cut these off and just put uh, ends like this on. So no big deal there. And then on this side, it's not broken, but we're actually missing the switch on the actual light in the car. So we might just bypass this. I'll show you how to do that and I'll explain all that in the harness reinstallation video, which is gonna be the next episode. All right, everybody, as you can see, that was totally doable. No big deal at all to get these back to being reinstalled. Make sure you subscribe and tune in to the next episode where we are going to be reinstalling these. It's gonna be very precise, step-by-step -step instructions. Every wire will be covered in this video. And also, if you're interested in restoring these old Corvettes, I highly recommend that you click the link below in the description and watch all my videos from one to the next on how to restore this old Corvette step by step. I'll put a link for that and I'll also put a link to the next episode of how to reinstall these harnesses. Thanks for watching, have a good day.